it's me, Nim Sony. Welcome back to another tutorial series. Today we're going to be going through gravity. We need to detect ground. Let's go over to our code, scroll up, and we're going to do just before the move functions entirely, the same way we did a calculate for the camera input, we're also going to calculate ground. There we go. So we want this function here. And we're going to do that just after the calculate camera. I like to keep my functions in order of when I place them in the actual update function. Sometimes I change them around depending on what I need to group up. And what we're going to use for that is a nice simple boolean which is called grounded. Very simple. That determines whether we're on the ground or not. So we're going to start with it set to false. So that will allow us to fall. And of course, in our gravity function, we're going to determine whether we're moving the gravity down, whether we're moving the velocity down by gravity, or whether we've hit the ground. So, if grounded, which means we have hit the ground, then we set our velocity y to a nice uh, sort of downwards uh, speed of, you know, just keeping ourselves grounded. So, I don't know, something like minus 0. Point, uh, let's say 5. There we go. So that's a nice uh, sort of grounded. Oop, I don't want a G, I want a F. There we go. A nice grounded speed um, that will always be applied to us just while we're touching the ground. It'll keep us going downwards and when we're sort of touching things like um, a, a slope or anything like that, if we're going down a slope, there's better ways to do that because sometimes you'll run down the slope which will need more speed than that. But uh, for now this will work. So if we're not grounded though, we need an else and that's where we apply our gravity. So that's it. That's that's as simple as that. However, we have not detected the ground. So now we need to set our grounded function, our grounded variable. So here we do a hit. Oop, we need a, a raycast hit. What is that? That's a that's a, that's the sort of little variable that stores all the hit data when we send out a ray from the bottom of our character. Raycast hit. That's it. We just need that. And then we need an if function. So this if is going to hold a physics dot raycast. And all that is, is going to send a ray from our character downwards to determine whether there's any ground underneath it. So we're going to start from our transform position. And we're going to move it up a little bit with vector three dot up multiplied by 0.1f. That's it. We're going to move about 10 centimeters up from our ground position, from our character's foot position, and start our raycast from there, shoot our array downwards to determine whether we're hitting the ground or not. So that's the position of the ray start. This is the direction of the ray, which is vector 3 dot up, but negative because we're pointing it downwards. And then we just need a distance. Well, well, actually, we need a distance and an out hit. Now, the reason for the out hit is that we send our uh, data that we're determining from there into our hit function over here. There we go. Super useful. So out hit. And of course, we need an amount as well to guarantee how far we want to send the ray. So we're going to send it 0.2f. So that means we're going to send it about 10 centimeters down from the bottom of our character because we're starting 10 centimeters up. Just in case something's poking into our character, we're going to start our ray a little bit higher up. And that's it. That's all you need to do. I'm going to switch over to Unity just to test that I've put these in the right order because the Unity script guide does not have them in the correct order. It hasn't done for a few years now. If I have errors, then I haven't. There we go. I don't have errors. That means I've put these in the right order. That's all I needed to check. So all we're going to do from that for now is say grounded equals true. Now I know there's a better way to do this. We could set grounded equal to this physics raycast, um, which would work because that would give us a bool of true if it hit and if it didn't, it wouldn't. But we're not going to do that because we're going to use some of this advanced code later on anyway. And then else we set grounded equals false. And that's it. That's all of our code now. That's today's code. We've determined gravity. We've detected ground and we've moved our character downwards based on that gravity. Let's have a look. 
press pause first so that we can see our character start to fall. In fact, I'm going to move him quite far up. Ooh, there we go. So that we can see him sort of falling. And then I'm going to press play and run the game from the game for uh, from the game screen here. So we can see he's uh, not moving at all because I haven't unpaused the game. Unpause. He starts to fall and he's falling at a maximum rate of 10. Then as we move over here, he starts to fall again because he's not falling at max speed because he's already hit the ground and detected that he's grounded. In fact, the best way for me to show this is if I switch over to here and make our grounded a public variable. What does that mean? That means we can see it in the Unity editor. So over here where we see our cam, we can see here grounded and it's got a little check mark because once we press play, when he falls, it's not checked. But once he hits the ground, it's checked. That means it's determining that we've got ground underneath us. When we drop him, it switches off. When we land, it switches on. If I drop him off now, it'll switch off again. Whee! That's all we need to do. And that's the whole video. We've now determined ground, we've detected ground, and we've applied gravity based on that ground. It'll stop applying gravity when we hit the ground because we need to zero out our, our vertical speed. And then of course when we stop hitting ground again, we start falling again. That's it. Now all we need to do later on in the next video is we're going to grab that ground detection so we know whether we are hitting the ground or not. And based on that, when we press the jump button, boom, he bounces up. That's all we need to do. That's the end of this video. Goodbye.